Investors were also encouraged about hearing a positive outlook on what's next for interest rates from Chicago Federal Reserve Bank President. Speaking at a conference in Turkey, Charles Evans said that the timing of any increase in U.S. interest rates will depend on the outlook for inflation, which is well below the Fed's 2 percent target. So a rate hike might not come until next year or maybe not until the year 2016. This is the day, a day a lot of investors and techies have been waiting for. Today marked the start of Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference, where company engineers and execs welcome thousands of code writers and entrepreneurs for updates on Apple software, its operating systems, and all those mobile apps available to users. Josh Lipton has more from the big event in San Francisco. It's a familiar sight. Lines of people gathering early, hoping to get a glimpse of Apple's latest product. But it wasn't the latest iPhone or iPad that got these Apple fans revved up. The tech titan instead introducing its latest Mac operating system, Yosemite. They set off on what then was a somewhat more circuitous path that took them ultimately to a place that embodies the beauty and power of OS X. We discovered OS X, Yosemite. The goal, make an Apple ecosystem that's more integrated, allowing your Apple devices to communicate with each other seamlessly. Something Apple exec Craig Federighi demonstrated for the crowd when he called Dr. Dre the newest Apple employee after last week's Beats acquisition on stage from his Mac computer. It's Craig Federighi here. Hey, how you doing? This is Dre. <laughs> The other big announcements, Amazing new mobile industry. operating system, iOS 8, and, and new programs for developers that will let programmers create apps aimed at home automation. But the news didn't go over well with investors. Shares fell slightly on the announcements, with many analysts saying Apple's success is built on its devices. Software is a, is a key component uh, to the stickiness of the Apple ecosystem, but in our view, it's not the real driver of the overall P&L. But while most analysts agree that new software announcements won't be enough to send customers flocking to Apple stores, at least some think today's headlines could be a signal of a much bigger announcement later this year. When you look at Apple, all this news today is, I think, whetting the appetite for the main entree, which is going to be the iPhone 6. Consumers can expect the latest software packages to be available this fall, and that lines up with when Apple is expected to introduce its newest line of devices. Last week, Eddie Q, one of Apple's senior executives, said the company's product pipeline is the best he's seen in 25 years. Now, that's a time frame that includes the iPod, iPhone, iPad, and iTunes. So investors are all eagerly awaiting what Apple could churn out next. Josh Lipton, Nightly Business Report, San Francisco, California.